Hello, and welcome to another season of Light the Way. I'm your host, Jordan Galkas. It is wonderful to be back for another season, and we have some exciting stories for you today. We will meet the real-life coach that inspired the movie, Remember the Titans. We will get a glimpse into the biggest concert of the year in Youngstown. Then, we take a trip to the new campus bookstore. All that more on this episode of Light the Wick. We all have probably seen the movie Remember the Titans. It was one of the most successful movies ever. But did you know there's a real life Herman Boone? Well, on Sunday, September 10th, he stopped by to give a talk on YSU's campus. Ben Bogan has more. Herman Boone was one of the football coaches that inspired the story for the hit film, Remember the Titans. During Welcome Week 2017, the YSU community was treated to one of the biggest concerts of the year. The Zac Brown Band stopped in Youngstown, and we had a camera there to capture all the excitement. On August 24th, the Zac Brown Band rocked YSU Stambaugh Stadium. This was a major part of YSU's Welcome Week. The fans really showed up and packed the ice castle. The concert was a major success. Reporting for Light the Weck, I'm Ethan Puhala. What an exciting time for all. Some of you have, may have noticed the new Barnes & Noble bookstore on campus. On the corner of 5th Avenue and Lincoln sits the new bookstore. They sell merchandise, class supplies, and textbooks. There's a Starbucks with a space to relax or work on assignments in the back of the store. Recently, the Youngstown Student Education Association held a book fair to raise money for their upcoming Read Across America event. The book fair was held in the administrative office of the Beagley College of Education on the dates of September 11th to the 13th. The Read Across America event is set to take place on March 3rd, 2018. The money from this year's book fair will go towards buying books for elementary students across the Youngstown area. Last year, YSEA was able to give two books to all children in attendance. Right around the corner. And the White House Fruit Farms has begun their festivities. White House has been farming in Canfield since 1815 and never fails to excite the community. This fall, they offer events like hay rides, pony rides, and a petting zoo. Be sure to watch out for future episodes for footage of the family fun. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Light the Wick. Keep watching back up for updates on the next show. If you have any stories that you would like to be featured on Light the Wick, please contact us at whyisyoulightthewick at gmail.com. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at LightTheWickYSU. For Light the Wick, I'm Jordan Galkas. Have a good weekend, everybody.